<clears throat> Start that stream. And, oh boy, should do a sanity check. Okay, we're gonna hear the keyboard real well. And if I turn down the gain, yeah, if I turn down the gain, of course you don't hear me as well, even on the max. And you still hear the keys really well, right? Oh. Oh. Yes. Normally, the solution is to fix it. Okay. Well, maybe there's nothing I can do about the sound until someone tells me it's a problem. But we're going to do a quick test of the clipping here because I need to make sure the sound works the way it's supposed to. So I'm going to go and like watch myself and do a test clip All right so cl clip someone tells me it's a problem but we're gonna do a quick test of the clipping here because okay this works um i need to do a test with the music now so where I close Emax, right? Close my knowledge base. Uh, streaming go? Do I have this in here? No. Um, I don't. Twitch? Using music. No, it is here. Uh, ooh, uh, no, Pulse Audio. I need to put a link to that in Streaming Go because those things are connected. Uh, okay, that's one thing. Uh, I get to. Put these two things in a shell and see what happens. All right, so now these things are here. Uh, I should be able to magically. Okay, virtual source, fantastic. Uh, I can probably. Ooh, how loud is this going to be? Drop the volume a lot. Because I need this to play and then. Okay, seems to be null output. All right, all right. Now let's clip. Uh, ooh, we're not hearing any of this. At least I think you're not hearing any of this. Uh, virtual source seems right. Oh, here we go. Okay, now I expect you're hearing this. So I'm going to mute myself a second to a test. So I'm going to mute myself a second to a test. So I'm going to mute myself a second to a test. So I'm going to mute myself a second to a test. All right, I don't know why I seem to be hearing myself in the loop here, but right. I don't know why I seem to be hearing myself in the loop here, but right. I don't know why I seem to be hearing myself in the loop here, but I don't know why I seem to be hearing myself in the loop here, but I don't know why. I seem to be hearing myself in the loop here. But... Alright, that's probably fine. The music seems to be there. Right, that's probably fine. Okay, that's just because the stream is playing, which is fine. Um, I can even drop the gain a little bit. 
Now I need... Well, I need to have the music play. And do a clip and make sure the music is not here. So that should be easy and manageable. All right. Um, let's see. Let's get the stream going. And... And clip this. Well, I need to have the music play and do a clip and make sure the music is not here. So that should be easy and manageable. All right. Uh, okay. Uh, that looks like we're good to go now. Just nice and finally, there I say. Finally. All right. So, yeah. I wonder what the resolution. Wow. 1440. Okay. Well. Uh, I guess I'll, someone will tell me if the top resolution isn't like working. Uh, the music should be like somewhere in the background, should be fine. Should I should be able to swap. I should probably have noticed people on, ping people in Discord just in case. Uh, server announcements, stream announcements. Um, Flexoring, exercise, gilded rose, kata in ruby. Oh, um, yeah, just do that. No, no, no publish in case anybody cares. This might be weird because I've pretty much only been streaming Go for a year. So I'm sure a bunch of people won't care, but that's fine. Um, switch to the analysis, which is the stuff that we are going to care about. And then that. Uh, okay, so I'm going to get that started in a second and a half. Oh, I just did it. Ah, forgot one thing. Uh -huh. The most important element of any, I don't know, streamer, like egomaniac, you, you choose. And we'll, and we'll go with that. Okay, so. Um, doo -doo -doo. If nothing is breaking, and the sound works, I can get going. Um, water? It's over here. Music is... Low. Is it too low? It's probably about fine. Uh, I would expect and hope for feedback if it turns out to be too low or too loud. And... Okay. So we got a couple of important things to do here. Um, oh, that's how Git works here. Um... This is what I wanted. I guess wanted to see commit. That's the that's the short version I care about. Unversioned files. Yeah, it's fine. I'll just take all of these. Um, my initial moves. Commit. That's why I have a place to come back to when I inevitably screw things up. All right. So what are we doing today? We are gonna go through the Gilded Rose kata. Uh, and uh, the, what the Gilded Rose Kata is, I guess the, gilded, the requirements will be 
the next thing to look at probably but um this is essentially just an exercise in refactoring and uh, if you're not familiar with the term um, refactoring is changing how a program is composed like just factored broken into pieces so it's trying to make the code more manageable etc more more changeable more like prettier easier to maintain and so forth so um, the actual requirements before we get anywhere near the code like to understand what we're doing and where the world is and what we can and cannot do uh, should I move this webcam so it doesn't feel like I'm too far only so much I can do about that. But seems to be roughly manageable. Um, face cam, filter. I am slightly disappearing. It should be good. Possibly, maybe. Okay. Um, yeah, should be good. Should be fine. Chat, wherever it is, will show up eventually down here. Okay. So the Gilded Rose Kata, the key bits, we have all items have a selling value, all items have a quality value, and then at the end of each day, our system lowers both values for every item. It's the end of each day, which is kind of the important first bit. It's the end of the day, not like the middle, not whatever. Now, um, once the sell by date, so I guess when the sell in value reaches zero, uh, quality degrades twice as fast. Quality of an item I can only get to zero, but aged brie, so there are special rules for all these things, which is fine. I'm going to take the opportunity here to disable the spell check if I am smart enough to do so. No, I don't want to do that. Disable inspection. Here we go. Um, I don't know what the backstage pass is other than... Oh, I guess Aged Brie is a backstage pass. All right. And then we have to make an update to, this, to the system for, some, for a specific rule. And then we can do everything we want for update quality and for everything, but we can't change item class or items property because they belong to the goblin in the corner who will insta-rage and one-shot you because he doesn't believe in shared code ownership. Uh... You can make the update quality method and items property static if you like. We'll cover for you. Thanks. It's very kind. I appreciate it. Uh, and then quality can never go above 50. So quality can never go below zero. Um, oh, wait. Hold on. Backstage passes increasing quality as of the sell and value approach. Quality increases by two when there's 10 days or less and when there's five days or less but it drops to zero after the concert okay so i guess is this the same rule okay i'll figure that out in a second or in a minute or in, in an hour but we're gonna we're gonna begin by taking a look at the code and then we'll take a look at how we can make sure that we remain in a sane world as we do this so uh here's the gilded rose code and holy crap is that ugly so, okay. Um, okay, everything's probably formatted, but there's a bunch of stuff that... Oh, I see. Can't fix that just because avoid more than three blocks nesting. Thank you, RuboCop, for telling me that the code is not good. I appreciate it. Um, so class item, we can't change. So the first thing I want to do is move that, that out to a separate file, so, I don't, so I'm not tempted to change it. Um, and then, of course, this probably... I can't change exactly, but we'll come back to that. The first thing I want to try to do is get tests running so that I know what's happening. And uh, oh, I'm sorry. Backstage. Okay, backstage passes are clearly something specific. All right. So let's try to run the tests and I got this thing here that the text tests which I have a readme for but I haven't processed um, this is apparently a Python tool which doesn't make me super happy because just because I'm trying to run this in pure Ruby for no valid reason whatsoever mm. but also don't have to care 
really fundamentally I don't have to care. Uh, this should be perfectly possible, but it's less convenient using text to test. Write a script that will execute the system under test. All right. Oops. Uh, config. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Um. Oh, settings for the Ruby version. That's cute. I guess. Oh, settings for the Ruby version. That's cute. Maybe I actually don't have to do anything. Maybe it's not Python. I don't know. We'll find out. But if I run text test fixture, what happens? Like, can I just execute this? But if I, run I can. Okay. So this is actually fairly simple because I can run that and I get the output. So, uh, okay. because I have this standard, like this kind of like top level, super high level test, and then I kind of uh, starter starter specs here, I can actually keep that as my uh, sort of source of truth. This is how the system should always behave. And if that breaks, um, then that shouldn't, that no longer works. So I'm going to start, uh, I should be able to run. Well, I'll worry about making that runnable in a second. That's not super hard to do, but first, uh, I go to Ruby and then I'm going to say our spec builded rows. And this fails properly. Good. Quality does not change the name. Just fine. So now, um, <laughs> I'm going to write a test, and then I will make that test pass. That is that is how this works. And I guess, eh, which of the two tests do I use here? Okay, I'll use, I'll, uh, these were added for my convenience. I will remove... You know what? I'm going to use the regular test. Um, just because I can run that conveniently this way. Or maybe not. Uh, that is very ugly output. Um, yeah, that's correct. I don't, I don't want to deal with it. It's not the end of the world, but I'll just... Uh, if I can just run this output, it'll be easier. So... The first thing I'm going to do, go back to the test test fixture, and then run that. Uh, and that is not what I expected to see, which means Control Shift F10 is a keyboard shortcut here. Is it a keyboard shortcut? Uh, now I have to think. Nope, it is not. So, oh, it is telling me permission denied. Okay, that's fine. So if I run this, yeah, permission denied. Fascinating. Uh, whereas this works. Wait, sorry, fixture. This works. Yep. All right. Well, I'll solve that problem later. What we're gonna do right now is we're gonna take this output. Uh, the oh my god high, I'm going to count as not being... Ah, crap. I will count it as being part of the fixture, because I don't know. Uh, copy. I'm going to create a test directory for this. Um, from the spec directory, actually. And when I move the spec file in it, and then I'm actually move this to the right over here so I can refer to it constantly. And then in the spec directory, I will eventually refactor this. But for now, when I create a file, I'm going to call it the uh, golden master. I think it's, I think that's what, the, I think that's the word for it. And get this output. And this is, um, you know what? We're going to take the first test. I think I should add a line here. But I'm going to not add it because it's going to help me check that the test works. So, um, oh God, first of all, let's, I'll fix this in the next commit. Let's just do things one at a time. For now, 
We're going to make this a standing test so it doesn't bother me. And then uh, describe all the master do it has the same output as the text fixture. And if this, if you find this hard to read, uh, let me know. Oh, hey, Tarios, how are you? Thank you for the lurk. Now this is um, golden standard equals file that read and then and then what what do I do I guess this is what I have to run right like I just um I guess I'm gonna run that code and see what happens I'll cheat a little bit but we're gonna do we're gonna do that yeah you know it's uh Kind of weird, kind of ugly, but we start with weird, weird and ugly, and then eventually we make it better. Getting into normality. Ah, uh, yes. Normality. Alright, and so now here I need to do something a little different. Uh, not the end of the world, but I'm going to need to get some uh, documentation. Uh, yes, just practice. Uh, it's been a while since I've looked at code. I need to make sure that uh, just I'm kind of up to speed on these things. And this is something I started to do a while back. Uh, I did. I started this exercise with a um, wait two point five. Is it not? Is it not there in more recent versions? Crazy. No. Yeah. Nope. I O here. Um, so anyway, I just I've never finished the exercise. So I'd love to finish it. That's kind of it. And uh, does string IO doesn't the string IO not exist in more recent versions of the? Well, let's find out. Uh, terminal. Actually, I should be able to run try from here. Yeah, there you go. So no string IO is still here. It still exists. Okay. So. Um, I'm gonna say uh, test output equals string io dot new, and then um, instead of puts, I think it might just be like uh, test output dot puts maybe. Is, does it have a puts? It has a put c. Mm. I have forgotten. It's been too many years. I will need to... First of all, why did I close the page if I had it open? Um, so yeah, this is, it's a fun exercise. And it's, um, and it's similar to... I mean, there's similarities with, uh, with Go in the sense that like you have to be... There's precision in... This is, you know, I'm strong at reading here. Let's put it this way. Or I want to make sure I remain strong at reading here. Uh, gets no. Pose put C. C I O that put C. Okay, well that's not helpful. That's not at all helpful. Not in a million years. Um, but it's oh man you know what ruby use io string um to redirect what uh file dot puts okay fine um io puts i mean clearly if io dot puts works then string io dot puts should work um Let's try it. I mean, what else? You know, if I don't try it, how am I going to know, right? That's literally what the tests are for. It's for me to have a cheap way of, uh, of trying things like this. So we're going to 
run this possibly maybe we're gonna uh run this possibly maybe spec run all, all tests in spec cannot load such files fine that's because uh oh yeah i'm gonna also change that code i it will be easier to do things that way i think it will be easier really what terrible things have I done now? Uh, sharpening your abilities, sort of. It's um, I guess keeping keeping them sharp, uh, or your abilities, sort of. yeah, maybe resharpening is correct. I guess keeping, keeping them sharp. <sighs> yeah, maybe resharpening is correct. Uh, is there nothing here? No, there's nothing. So, is there nothing I mean. That might work. I don't know. Uh, nope. Did not work. Very sad. But now, actually, it recognized what I was trying to do. Ah. All right. Perfect. No such file or directory. Golden master. Perfect. There we go. Now, now we're cooking with fire. Uh, control F5 to rerun. Okay. It is unhappy with my file name. Oh, this is because it is uh, spec. That's this is running from the from their source. Okay, zero failures, one passed, one pending. Okay, cool. That's because there's no assertion. That's that's why it passed. So now I should basically do um, expect golden standard uh, to equal. Yeah, this is. This is the DSL. I have I have grown to not like. Oh, this is actually I did this I did this backwards. Uh, this is test output. Okay. I have grown to not like our spec all that much. Okay, we got this, uh, and here we go. Compared to an equal, which compared object identity. Right. Thank you for the warning. All right. I think this is exactly what I was trying to do. Um, expected. Oh my God! Hi, got string IO. Yeah. Um, is it, do I have to do two string? That's weird. Um, read, my word. I have, I have forgotten how this works. Length, line, pid, read lines, string. That seems promising. Okay, now we got uh, a good failure here, where I don't have the oh my god high at the front. That's step one, and I don't have. Desert, uh, here we go. Look at that. I've got no. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Um. All right. I'm gonna drop the oh my god high step one here. But I seem to not have the uh the day zero thing. So let's bring that in. Probably with put s here. That's probably gonna fix that. Close, 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 close. This is looking, this is looking pretty similar, but we got a difference here already. Um, and then we got actually new lines. Okay, I have I have extra new lines. Interesting. Day one. Fascinating. Well, this is the first test. This is how things start. You go, oh, this is not working the way it's supposed to. Let's find out why. So I copied this. And so. Let's find out why. So I copied this. And I copied that. And I expect this to work kind of roughly correct way, correctly. 
Um, blah, blah, blah. Kind of roughly correct, yeah, correctly. Arg V. Oh, is there something I completely forgot to read here? Is there something important I forgot to read? Oh, is there something I completely Probably not, but... Oh, hold on. This is actually... I think I went ahead of myself. Did I? Oh, 30 days. Oh, this is a... Um, I see. Oh, so I have expected output here. Fair enough. So if I have this expected output, first, um, we are going to bring this in because that is that is how the world works. So this is going to be test output that put us, oh my god, high. Very important, clearly part of the test. But now, instead of doing this copy and paste that I've done, uh, I'm going to take uh, text tests and then uh, the expected output. That's gonna, and that's going to be my golden standard. And then I'm going to say that days is 30 because that's the output. If I recall correctly, this might this is kind of terrible code at the moment. So yeah, 30. Okay, that seems that seems right. Zero to thirty is what that's what's going to happen here. Um, the downside, of course, is this is going to be much bigger output. Uh, oh yeah, because I'm I'm bad at like directories. Okay. All right. Um, day thirty didn't happen. That's it's interesting. I don't know. Well, That's, it's interesting. I don't know. this is day zero. This is day zero. Oh man, there is already something wrong. This is actually very important because. Um, oh man, there is already something wrong. Oh wait, this is no no no. The the thing that's wrong is the controlled mana cake doesn't work yet. So the controlled mana cake should work. This is why this breaks. So if I take the output and remove the conjured mana cake, I think this is going to be fine. That is going to be our test. Um, that is going to be our test. What happens without the conjured mana cake? Because that's my guess. Um, Without the conjured mana cake, it's is the golden master do, and then I'm gonna have the exact same kind of crazy long piece of code that I have here, like all of these things. But uh, these actually are going to be spec golden master, and then this is actually gonna be two because this is just two days. And man, please work. I would, I would like you to prove to me that this is fine. It's not fine. Uh, what's the keyboard shortcut for this? Control Shift F10, apparently. Okay. Oh yeah. Well. Oh, hold on. That's my fault, partly. I don't have the oh my god high at the beginning. Oh yeah. Well. That's my fault, partly. I don't have the oh my god high at the beginning. Okay. Now I've got a difference. Because I have conjured mana cake, which I shouldn't have. Okay, let's remove that. And now it fails for another reason, which is me missing. I have an extra new line at the end, so I need a second new line. Perfect. All right. This is this is the good starting point. I can commit. Uh, I can commit this. This is going to be the beginning of this. I can commit. Master test. And yeah, we're going to commit all of that. Actually, uh, not config.gr. I don't need that file. I'm going to uh, roll back this file. Okay. Now that's, that's, that's that. Okay, that was a tiny bit faster than I thought it was going to go.
Uh, not to say that it couldn't be better, but uh, not not terrible. So now if I run every test, which is not what I thought was going to happen, what's, is there a keyboard shortcut to choose what I'm going to run? It should be. Run, run, Alt F4, Alt Shift F10. Yeah, maybe. There it is. Okay. So now I get to choose, and I should be able to run all tests in Spec Ruby, and I'm hoping that is. Okay. So we're gonna ta -ta, edit configuration. Yeah, and we're gonna we're gonna drop that configuration and instead. Kill the rose is what I'm looking for. So if I do Alt Shift F10. Really? There it is. Kill the rose. Good. And so now um, this is fine. If I show the ones that passed, I see. Okay, good. All right, good to go. We got we got a solid starting point. Now let's get let's get into it. Um, now um, the first thing I want to do is try to put to the side the stuff that I cannot change. Right, uh, and the readme, no, right here, right. I cannot change the item class or the items property. So the first thing I need to do is find the items class and the items property, whatever the items property is, which might be that thing. That's probably what it is. Um, but this, we are going to uh, extract can I not just can I not just extract this to all right fine very sad about this but it's okay <laughs> remove that um I'm gonna make it a yeah we'll make it a lib directory just trying to figure out what's going on uh, and then you maybe I could have called it vendor that's not a terrible idea actually it's not a terrible idea. Uh, and then Ruby file class, and I call it item, and boom, and that is not at all the right thing. Okay, so there's do refactor. Now this test will fail because I don't have it imported here. So I'm gonna require relative vendor item, and now I'm gonna run the tests. And the golden master is going to fail until it's going to fail forever, uh, which I'm completely fine with. Like this is the part that I care about, right? And I am, yeah, pending. I can leave this pending for now. Okay, good. So like this is this is fine. I've made one change to the code, and uh, this change to the code is is working. So again, I'm going to commit uh, extract add class to vendor directory. And uh, now I want to do a Rubocop change just because those underlines annoy the crap out of me. Um, nope, not what I wanted to do. Come on, fine, fix more actions. Fix all autocorrectable off offenses. Okay, should be fine. And now if I rerun the tests, nothing broke. Excellent. That is a very good step in what I hope is the right direction. This it'll be sad about because... Oh, wait, actually. Can I run Rubocop on this entire thing? I should be able to, right? Um, reformat code? My word. Uh... I don't know what I just did, and I'm a little worried about it. I expect I didn't break anything. No, I didn't, but that's fine. Um, but I wanted to... Nah, whatever. Whatever. Let's just do a quick check on like, what actually just changed now. Um, the diff here is the frozen string literals. Okay, so that did do. S no, this is. I touched this file myself. And this file, however, got a couple of adjustments. And then here, 
Oh, it probably just made new lines. Okay, it's fine. I don't care. Uh, yeah, that's what happened. Okay, this is fine. The thing I care about here is fix all autocorrectable offenses. Holy crap! Let's not do that. That is that is code changes that are more than I want to do. Um, um, I will. I will step into those myself. Okay, so without the controlled mana cake, we're still good, uh, which tells me that the rest of the code works as it should. Uh, extract atom class to vendor directory. Uh, some Rubacop. Some linting. Okay, uh, now let's start to. Let's take a look first at seeing if I can make this test pass without with it, without many changes. Because in order to do that, I just need to have the conjured mana cake that has specific rules. Right, the uh, conjured degrades twice as fast as normal items, which means when it goes through the day, uh, the quality should go to zero very fast. Uh, so that makes sense. <sighs> of course, this is a massive pain in the ass, right? Okay, that's not what I wanted to do. Move that here. Yeah, there you go. Come on, come on. Thank you. And then there's a two string. I can't touch this, so like fine, whatever. Um, it says I can't change it, otherwise I'll get one-shotted, right? Can't alter it. And then the items property, I think, is this thing. Now, this is annoying, uh, and the reason why it's annoying is because uh, it means I can't change the item object itself, so, like, I'm limited in a couple of things. But we can see what we can do to make this better. There's a lot of things I want to ignore and rework, but this is unpleasant. I should take a look at the original C-sharp to make sure that this is what I think it is, but I'm pretty sure it's that. Uh, and that's annoying because... Yeah. That's that's annoying because it means that I can't change kind of the interface uh, so much, but I can... What I can do is kind of cheat and create an anti-corruption layer of sorts to go into my own class from there um, it's unpleasant but um, but at this point this is just where we are right this is uh, this is Leroy Leroy has moved on to new adventures and he's never gonna come coming back so so this is what we're working with um, So I'm one. All right. So this is so so horrible code, so horrible code. Uh, but this is update quality, and then there's like there must be another. Oh no, there isn't one. Okay, so this is just an inventory, I guess, of some sort. Uh, okay, 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 okay. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Uh yeah, I think I think I needed to well, it's what I want to do anyway. I don't know if it's the best thing to do, but um I don't even know if it's the smartest thing to do. Because the question should be what's the smallest thing I can do? And the smallest thing I can do is probably implement some of these rules and make sure that then the refactor like write tests to make sure these rules still pass. Right, so if I follow that and try to be smart about it, because I do get a bunch of tests that will allow me to to do refactors and beyond the massive god test. So um, if I do, if I follow that rule, which is not a terrible idea, I think I can. Uh, I'll describe item, which to be fair should really be like a again. 
uh, sellable item, SKU item. What's a good name for this? Because I want to separate it from the uh, item for sale. Something like that, maybe? Uh, and I'm going to have it... Well, I get to say... Uh, uh, it degrades quality twice as fast and sell by date has passed and this is going to be item.new so it's going to be an item equal item.new who and then uh, zero and then three I suppose. Uh, yeah, I guess five, something like that, right? And then if I do um, gilded rose equals gilded rose dot new items, and then gilded rose dot update quality. I suppose if I look at the item, the item has changed right now, which is probably a feature that they want to keep. So maybe, well, whatever. Let's go. Let's go from there. Uh, I should probably expect. Uh, yeah, I'll just cheat. Make this an array. Um, expect item dot quality. Oh, yes, yeah. To equal three. Now this, I think, will pass. I am wrong. I am very wrong about this. Yeah, that's because I can't write code. Okay, good. This works. Good news. Um, we can move on to the next test, I think. Because I don't know if from here I can effectively extract something <laughs> you know bats you're just sitting in stream just like waiting for me to say something like that just all the time i can tell i can tell bats you're just sitting in stream just like waiting for me to say something like that. this is it's clearly clearly a thing you do um <sighs> Okay, so now that I'm here, yeah, I think another test because there's a lot of things here that are not great. Um, like the quality of an item can never be above 50, which is kind of interesting. Uh, and like it, it kind of always assumes the quality can't be, like if it's less than 50, do these, but that's just because of Sulfurus, like this, the legendary item. That's like a, a code thing. So... God of War Ragnarok is trolling all these kids with their theory crafting. Oh my God! What theories are there? What theories are there to craft about this about that game? It's a. It feels like it's a fairly straightforward. At least when you finish the game, it's kind of like it's kind of laid out pretty clearly. Um, okay, so here. This is a very interesting setup because how does a test hang on how does a test fixture try to do things? The test fixture runs the update quality and then checks on the items themselves. So the items do have to change. So my idea of introducing a, a middle class is only good if I propagate the changes back out, which is probably fine, but um a thing I have to be aware of. So if I try that, they think they know Norse mythology and it's kind of hilarious. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, that's not. Yeah, it's. Yeah. Um, okay. I can close that. I can close that. I can close that. 
All right, so if I'm going to create... Man, this is going to be unpleasant, but it is important because I need to understand the code instead of just applying my random magic thoughts. So, um, really, what's the keyboard? Alt-1, that's what I was doing. So now I'm going to do... Uh, I can close that. I can create a new directory. Lib. Lib. And then in here, I'm going to create a new Ruby class. And this class is going to be um, item for sale. I think I might regret this, but we'll find out. Nothing ventured, nothing gained, right? Germany invaded Norway, and that's where Norse gods came from? What? 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 I mean... Like, work with me here. He's confused by the term Germanic people. Oh, I see. Yeah, easy mistake. Um, okay, so the class item for sale. Why did I just make this? Is it even worth it? Um, I think it's because I do uh, def initialize, and I'm, I'm going to say it's going to have the name a uh, sell by and a quality, and then these are going to be name equals name, sell by is sell by, quality equals quality, we'll do that. And then if I do um, update quality here, I'm just going to have this bit of, bit of logic, which is, um, oh man, I'm going to hate myself for what I just did. Hate myself for what I just did. Um, well, I I don't know why you're laughing because I'm thinking and I'm not keeping track of when you're laughing. What's what's going on? I don't know why you're laughing because um, I mean, if this makes you laugh, this is how I talk when I'm writing code. Whatever it is that made you laugh is like this is a very standard for me writing code. Uh, def update quality. I suppose it's gonna be uh, if. Another day has passed. <laughs> I'll just... You know what? I'm going to begin with that name to make it super clear it's different, and then we'll go from there. I'm going to make it a bang to make sure that it's normal and recognizable that it's got uh, a change. Oh, you're the close-up. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm glad I helped. Um, okay, so clearly and when i want to say clearly i mean i'm going to look at the, at the instructions again because my god those instructions um okay i don't know if those instructions say anything about in which order things work so i think i'm going to have to do this in um i'm gonna to have to go read the code i think to find out the specific things so this is the end of each day right um Degrading, okay, right, so there's no introduction, there's no nothing here that tells me whether uh, the sell-by goes down first or the quality goes down first. But here, it's pretty clear the quality goes down first, and then, oh my god. Um, no, so both happen kind of, they both sort of happen at the same at the same time. Right, uh, and this is less than zero. So when the selling is zero, it's fine. It's when it's less than zero. So zero is the last day to sell it effectively. Um, all right. So that's that's going to be really really fun to do. 
before quality uh, degradation. Oh boy, changes. So this is going to be, I think, I think it's going to be that pretty much. And then uh, if sell by is less than zero, quality minus equals two, else quality minus equals one. All right, and that is going to be weird. Um, I wonder if... No, no, okay, that's fine. That's fine, okay. My interpretation is such that I'm going to say that what I want to do is okay, and we're going to go from there. So, um... Oh my god, this is so terrible. Um, okay, let's do something crazy. I hope you all are ready for this. Um, I'm gonna say my items are items dot map uh, item for sale dot new uh, x dot Oh boy. Uh, name, sell in, and quality. All right. X dot name. X dot sell in. X dot quality. All right. So these are these are my items, and I do things with those items, right? So now I'm gonna say my items dot each. Um, and then on each of those, I'm going to say another day has passed. And this should update all the items. Um, and then I'm going to say, oh man, God, I hate it. Um, I'm going to decide later whether this is a terrible idea or not, because it's kind of, it's a little bit unclear what it means that I can't alter the property. But I, th I think I can probably alter the values. Because it's not... Because the values have to be able to change. Because they are... Um, they're clearly not static. Like, they, they change as part of this code. So I've got to be able to change them. Right? At least I think so. I'll have to look up the tiny details of how this works and go from there. So now I should be able to do my items... Well, I should be able to do. Uh, oh, oh no! Oh boy, I'm breaking everything. Uh, items equals my items dot map. And then this is going to be item dot new x dot name x dot sell by x dot quality. And now this is the fun part here. I'm going to comment all of that out. All of that out. And can't find sell by really. It's right here. Oh, no, never mind. It's You can't find it because there's no accessor for it. Uh, yeah, that's that's the rule. And here you're mad because probably use the return of the conditional for variable size. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fine, 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 fine. Really? I thought... What's going on here? Why isn't Alt-Enter doing what it's supposed to be doing? It's the other alt. Okay, fair enough. Fine. Um, um, sure, but I mean, you're gonna have to work on this. Like, yeah, gonna have to work on that. This is use sell by that negative. I mean, I'll I'll take it. Uh, sure. <clears throat> okay, we're gonna begin with this. I'm gonna run the tests. The golden mask, the, this should now break, but this should pass. Um, and that should be fine. No, I broke everything. Uninitialized constant. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Turns out, I'm an income poop. I am. I'm a dum-dum. Let's try this again. 
Okay, item for sale broke. Expected three, got five. Um, wow, well then, whatever I did, totally did not work. Uh, the quality here just did not decrease. Well, that's not fun. Um, expect item dot sell in. That should work, maybe. No. All right. Cool. So we got something clear where it's not changing, and I'm very bad at my job. Fantastic. Okay. So I thought that I would be able to call this and it would just change these objects, right? I am taking these items and I'm mapping them to item for sale. I'm going to have to put a breakpoint somewhere in here. It's going to happen. You're going to see it happen. Uh, or probably print-based debugging because that's going to be just a tiny bit easier. Why? Oh, why? Um, <laughs> I'm making new items here from what's here, but this should have changed, right? If I do um, put us my items, I don't know what's gonna what the output's gonna be here. That's gonna be that, of course. Fair enough. Uh, pretty print. I think pretty print. Yeah, pretty print is better. Okay. But talk to me here. The quality here, this these are the correct numbers. Oh, oh, oh. 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 Son of a bitch. Um, I can't do it this way. It's fine. It's completely fine. I just need to do it the slightly more annoying way. Um... If I'm going to do it this way, and I have to take a hit. <sighs> okay. Here's here's the thing that just went through my head. Um, I were, were actually modifying these specific items. And that's kind of how the code is is written and i've gotta assume there's an expectation here that this is how it works other than like they're just an accident um so it means that instead of doing a map i basically have to if i want to do that i need to be able to map back and forth the the properties because i can't assume there's only going to be one of whatever for sale so um this is going to change a little bit. First, first of all, uh, for the sake of make, keeping it kind of readable, I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to do an each with objects uh, with, a, with a hash. And then from there, I'm going to transform that into, into a hash. And, um, and basically, I'm going to say that uh, the hash of the item here is the new item right and that gives me a new thing to work on so now i'm gonna while i'm at it you know in a horribly horribly non-functional manner for now i can work on making it functional later uh, yeah I have, to, I have to find a way to make it functional to kind of keep state separation safe but uh, uh, not keys, but values. I can now take the, the the values of the hash. So basically what I've done with this, with line 12 here is, I've said the original item is going to map to my new fancy item, and then my new fancy item is going to do the logic that I want it to do. And, um, and once I'm there, I'm going to transform them back. So... Um, the way that's going to work is I'm going to say items that each do item and then uh, let's see uh, 
item for sale equaled my items. Oh man, this is I don't like it. I don't like what I'm doing. Um And then, now that I've got that, it's going to be this really fun situation where I'm going to say that item dot sell in equals item dot sell by an item of quality. Oh, that's not right at all. Uh, item for sale and item for sale quality. So now I'm successfully modifying the uh, original item which means my test passes again. Now, this is hopelessly broken at the moment, which is not really good. Um, it Really, every time I refactor, things should work. So I can keep this idea for later, and I can roll this back, um, because I don't know how easy or hard it is to modify this. Like, the kind of the update quality here that I've got in my item for sale, is gonna be is gonna work here actually you know what um yeah you know maybe i can maybe i can do that maybe i can actually replace it kind of very very slowly and see what the evolution of that code looks like because that's the exercise is refactoring bit by bit keeping things passing the entire time instead of like a, a god master refactor, which is a kind of a tempting thing to do. So let's backtrack a little bit. I'm going to keep all of this over here. Uh, I'm going to keep this for later because that's kind of what I want the code to look like at the end. So it's, it'll remind me of what I'm working towards. It's like it's just emotional management here. That's, that's really all it is. Um, and... Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, sorry, my brain, my brain stopped for a second. So now I've got these. Uh, ooh. Oh man, how do I do this somewhat presently? I think I actually keep that and move it down to <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> Crap. Um, let's fold all of that. Thank you, editor, for making my life a little bit more manageable. Um, actually, you know what? We are going to do this right now. Uh, this is going to be refactor, uh, extract method. It's absolutely going to be private, and it's going to be uh, uh, change... Goblin items back, and we'll go from we'll go from there. See what that means. See how that works out. But now I'm gonna try to say like it's working off of items here, right? So I could do my items dot values um, or my items dot keys. Or um, I could do my items at each, but right now I'm going to do it kind of the slow, ugly-ish way. And so this is going to be my items item uh, another day has passed. And I'm going to remove this. Now this is going to be a problem really fast, I think, because the... Um, you got this like cell in, which is the quality that changes, right? But I, uh, cause here there's a, there's a special thing here, right? Like special logic for the backstage passes. So I think I have to make some adjustments like, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then this is all kind of specific. So maybe what I'm going to have to do is extract some of this stuff into specific methods to figure out the impact. Because here I think this is going to break because, again, I'm modifying the cell by twice, right? Uh, no, this passes. 
this this past this past um okay i'm surprised by this because i expected this to run Well, learning things, learning things, learning things. We are going to make some... I'm going to undo this change. Yeah, recommend that. It's okay. It's fine. Okay, so... This not making any impact on the code. And here we go. Okay, so the kind of incomplete master and the item for sale do pass, which is what they're supposed to do. Uh, let me implement more tests and then kind of extract things out here in a somewhat safe manner because, uh, like, for instance, here, this gigantic if block is more or less saying the quality should be managed for backstage passes. But then there's like specific things for the quality when the selling is less than zero. So yeah, this is unpleasant. This is this is unpleasant code, but thankfully very little code in production looks like this. So let me add another test. Um, because tests keep me sane. So all right, let's add another test. And we're gonna say um, it uh, cannot have negative quality, and then this is going to be oh, wait, this test is passing, but like I'm not actually updating it from my own item. This is not a um. these are like basic rules here and how that works, but that's fine. That's also, that's also okay. Um, uh, so that should f still pass. Uh, yep, still good, still good, still good. Now here we have the next one, the Aged Brie increases the quality the older it gets. This is fun. Now, this is all logic that is currently in the Gilded Rose. This is logic that I want to get out of the Gilded Rose, right? So, um, okay. So, here's my argument. Here's the argument I'm going to make. The argument I'm going to make is that uh, I can implement these tests, which are telling me the logic for the code, but I have the golden master already that just keeps me honest. So I think if this is right, now this is the thing. I can only trust it so much. The, the code will tell me what the, code's, how the, what the code does, right? So I need to implement this for the existing code first, and then I can basically copy and paste these tests for my own internal logic and do other things that are, you know, kind of cleaner. But, um, uh, it cannot have quality over 50. And, oh man, this is going to be really interesting. Because, of course, the exception for Sulfurus <laughs> never has to be sold. <laughs> it's a legendary item. We don't care about selling it. We'd make a ton of money, but we don't care. So, uh, I'm going to copy and paste this again. Because why not? Now... Actually, you know what? These are actually in order. So, because I, uh, the aged brie gives me a reason to increase the quality, right? So, um, all right. So now you have to catch the bits of logic. So here, backstage passes increasing quality as their selling value approach. Uh, and then there's, this is for the concert, because of course there's no reason to have a backstage pass after the concert. But the Brie, I need to take a look at the Brie to understand specifically how this works. 
I'm not I'm not excited about it, but okay. So if the brie, if it's not brie, okay. So this entire thing I don't care about if it's not brie, right? Or at least this thing because here it might be brie. Uh, if the quality is less than fifty, the quality goes up. Now if this is item name, so I don't care about. I don't care about the backstage pass logic, so I don't. I, I can remove that right here, right? Um, and then I don't care about this because this is the logic for the magic item, legendary item. Now this is all if the item name is not the Brie, and this is duplicated logic. It looks like, right? Because here we have. If it's less than 50, quality goes up for the Brie. And then... Oh no, right. If the selling is less than zero, the quality goes up again. So the quality goes up by one, and then it goes up by two. Okay, that's it. that's two bits of logic, right? Um, uh, it's... Uh, gets better actually we, I'm gonna do something specific here and say uh, describe aged brie this is interesting oh man uh, how do you do this intelligently there's so many things that are very specific very 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 specific and maybe there's just nothing nothing good about that specifically um, aged brie now here if the sell in actually uh, it's in quality by one as sell it approaches and then increases quality by two after sell date those are the two tests I have to write here and we're gonna, of course, test that I understand this correctly because this is gonna run with the with the actual code, right? So um, I'm going to say, here's my test. And here's oh, that's not right. Here's uh, my test. And then this is aged brie. And the selling is gonna be four, and the quality is gonna be. I guess eight because or nine there you go perfect right and then the quality should be ten but when the sell in is zero yeah when the sell in is zero and the quality is gonna be eight then I expect the quality to be ten those are my expectations for aged breed my expectations are not correct. Um, expected 10 got 6. Oh yeah, because I didn't rename it. Let's try this again. Alright, good, 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 good. Good, 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 good. All of this makes sense. Quality of an item cannot be more than 50. This is convenient. Uh, because this is for every item, but now that I've got the Brie, I have... Uh, a built-in bit of logic that I can use to say here's quality going up right so now I can say uh, it cannot have quality above 50 and then this is gonna be uh, weird because it's not about the aged brie but right now the aged brie is the only path I have for this so um, I'm gonna Take this and say age brie. And then if the quality is 50, I expect the quality to be 50. Boom, it passes. So far, so good. Now, sulfurous never has to be sold or decreases in quality. I'm going to guess that this means the numbers don't change. I do have to find the actual name of the damn object. 
Um, so I'm going to cheat and take it from here. Uh, um, yeah, okay. So we're going to do that. Um, da -da 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 -da. It uh, does not need to be sold. It does not lower in quality. And uh, this is going to be that with this and then this. So now, um, if the selling is five and the quality is, I mean, it's like it's eighty, right? That's that's how it works. Uh, this is actually not the, the same test, right? This is actually a test that says the quality cannot increase above 50, uh, which is not the same thing. But um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to adjust this test because I have questions and I need to answer them uh, here. But it looks like it looks like the quality just doesn't increase above 50. That's really the rule here, right? There, there's nothing that seems to indicate that if the item enters with the quality above 50, like that's just where it is. Um, and so that's just another conversation to have. But here, I expect the quality to be 80. And then here, oh, oops, sorry, my bad. I expect the cell in to equal 5. And here I expect this to be 80. Still good. Okay. All right. Just adding tests so far. And then backstage passes because backstage passes. Ugh. Freaking backstage passes, man. Um, it's. Uh, Increases quality by two when there are uh, six to ten days left. It increases quality by three when there are uh, zero to five days left. It drops quality to zero uh, after the concert. Seems seems about right. Uh, okay. Um, I just need to do a sanity check here on this one thing. Uh, Web store? Yeah, um, yeah, install, I think. No, screw it. I don't need to do that. I don't need to do this. Okay. So I have to write these tests. Um, ba -ba 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 -bum. This is going to be basically that. I'll just make adjustments for, for all three of these tests. So. I guess these are all the same. Yeah, it's actually the same concert all the time, right? It looks like. So that's kind of interesting. But, um, you know what? I think my idea is okay, but that there's a better thing, that, thing I can do than my idea. Because I can probably inherit from the item class. It's not fun because I don't control it, so it's dangerous. Um, but it would allow me to... Yeah, I'll think about... I don't think that's a good idea, actually. Uh, just because creating those sub-objects is not necessarily a good thing to do. 
Okay, so uh, here if the salon is zero and the quality is say 50, then when I update the quality, uh, I expect the quality to become zero. Uh, here, when there's zero to five days left, ooh, I need to do this multiple times here. Um, I'm gonna say from uh, zero to five dot each do sell in, and then here I'm gonna have to do that over here. Um, and it's kind of ugly, but what you gonna do? Uh, sell in, and then the quality is going to be, I don't know, at 10. Um, and then I'm going to expect the quality to always be 13 here. That should be what it is. So here, actually part of the rule the uh, is it increases quality by uh, 1 when there are at least 11 days left that's that's kind of the rule here right so uh so we're going to make an adjustment here for that right so selling is is 11 uh quality is five quality becomes six and then uh i'm going to just copy that for the other one because it's going to be the same logic for 6 to 10 with the cell of quality of 10 here I expect the quality to be 12 and yeah I think this is nope it is not okay what did I break I broke everything expected 6 got 10 um oh okay 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 I I'm, I'm picking up what you're putting down I think um expected 12 got five really this dropped by two expected 13 got one what on earth have i done No, oh, um, zero is not good, right? Because it is. No, zero should. Well, I said zero should be fine. I don't know, right? Now, um, I I don't know, but I do know that if the name here is not a backstage pass, then I can actually skip this. If it isn't, um, the quality goes up by one. Now, if the item name is this, if the selling is less than 11, um, so 11 is, is like limit, right? It's very limit. Um, but the selling hasn't changed here yet. The quality is uh, less than... And the quality is less than 50 because you can't increase that then you do this and then if oh my god you're okay i see i see yeah it's just adding it uh one more time one more time that makes sense it's ugly ass code but okay um now if the item is not equal to that then we're going to do that. Otherwise, increase the quality. Wait, what? Hold on. Wait, that's not right. There must be an else here that I'm missing. There it is. There it is. Item that quality is item that quality minus item that quality. Awesome. Um... Yeah, okay. Um, this is strange because, I mean, 
Certainly I'm biased and I thought I'd written this code correctly, but you know the computer disagrees with me and the computer's right. Oh wait, no 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 never mind. Okay. Let me do a sanity check here. Let me just add this is makes 12, see what happens here. See if that, that's just the, uh, the the limit here. It is not. It is not the limit. Uh, there is something else wrong here. Oh well, the thing that's wrong is I'm stupid. Uh, if I don't change the code, the code's not going to change. That's fundamental rule of code. Uh, but actually, that doesn't uh, mean much. Because expected 6 got 11. The, the quality doubled? Yeah, this is not right. This is not right at all. Um, and my code is not here at all. So there's something clearly wrong here with the way this is implemented or the way this is described. But um, expected 12 got 5. Oh, stupid. Stupid. And no one in chat told me anything. No one in chat. How dare you all. How dare you. If you write the wrong code, you don't get the right answer. Simple. Simple. Alright, well, so now it's broken for another reason. Now I'm just bad at it. Um, okay, there we go. This is probably because I missed something important. Uh, like, zero is because it de decreases by one. Uh, so on, on, on day zero, it's fine, right? So that's the key, is, um, at least I think this is fine. This is, okay, this is how it's supposed to behave, right? So I've got the correct logic here for, for all these things. And then we have to implement this thing, which doesn't exist. Now, I've got a bunch of tests that mostly pass. I'm going to commit this so I can, again, come back to it later, right? Uh, implement tests based on requirements. Okay. Yeah, it's interesting. The alt key on the left doesn't do what I expected. Weird, but, you know, weird, weird flex, but okay. Um, I've got all of these things implemented. I need to implement this. I can't touch these things. And this is fine. And then this is kind of everything, right? So now, now I get to start making adjustments to the code. Um, the terrible thing, of course, is like these are hard-coded things. So um, the temptation is to extract this as a constant of sorts because it doesn't change. Just go aged brie. And then here, I do the same thing. Um, Backslash passes to TAF, how AD, etc. concert. And then just keep going until I have like further things in here, right? So like there's here, there's of course uh so fur ass hand of Ragnaros. And if I'm really lucky, that's kind of all I have for the strings. It is all I have for the strings. Okay. That's that's not it's it's bad in some ways, but it's 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 kind of manageable, right? Because it's kind of the entry point for other things as well. So um, now, let me talk. Let's talk about logic, right? Now that I've implemented this, I understand the logic a little better, and I'm thinking this here is really saying, if we're not in a situation where the quality increases. 
or the quality could increase, do this, right? Because then the else is the quality might increase, and this is how it increases, right? So if I'm going to rewrite this, well, I'm going to rewrite this code. It's uh, let's let's do this. Uh, this is a uh, a method, and I'm going to say uh, if. Oh man, do I want to do this? Do I want to do this? Because if I extract this, then I'm kind of like cementing the current logic flow, which is not what I want to do, or wasn't my, origi my original idea, which doesn't mean my original idea was better or good. Um, if quality will decrease, this quality must decrease. Right. This is probably what it is. If quality... No, can't increase? Mm, terrible. I hate having this kind of negative setups here. Um, uh, and also, now that I'm reading this, can't is bad because it could be multiple things in English, so we're going to just have it. Quality cannot increase when you do that. And then the else is if quality will increase, right? Um, and then, yeah, then because the quality cannot be above zero, right? So like this is a method that says adjust decrease. You threw some sunflower kernels in your instant ramen for the hell of it, and it's actually pretty good. It does sound nice, actually. I'll have to try that. Uh, do I want to do this? I feel like I'm going to regret this. Well, I can hit undo a little bit on some things. Uh, this is going to be decrease quality normally. Oh, man, I hate it. I hate it so much. Um, well, this is, what com this is what committing is for. Right. Um, um, yeah, decrease quality for normal items. Really? Yeah. I thank you, editor. I think this is roughly what I want to change. Yeah, um, I'll I'll take it. Are we watching anything tonight? It's a good question. It's it's eight thirty p.m. Uh, I've I was planning on doing this for a while, but if you have thoughts, if you have thoughts, I'm listening. Um, this is oh, that's not right. Uh, that's not right at all. Control Alt method uh, decrease sell by date for normal items. Okay, so now this is ah uh, Christ on a stick. Um, and then this is like increase things, and then this is like it's in increase ah uh, cowboy bebop. <laughs> I, well, I know for a fact you don't mean the TV show. Uh, uh, um... I was sort of waiting to see if somebody else would show up in the stream because there's uh you you may have seen that like Tang Jay is like learning how to code so I figured this might be interesting for him to watch but um I don't know in, in 25 minutes we might give this uh we might give this a break because then I have like this is this is a normal increase in quality and then this is like special increase in quality for backstage passes and it's just I fucking hate this the way this is set up but you know what 
you know what? It's actually not that bad, I think. Um, so here, let's just let's just do it. Let's go through it. Let's just trust. Let's trust the process, right? Uh, increase quality for. No, wait, 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 wait. I have to make an adjustment here because um, the tr the truth is like here in this one the decrease quality right the decrease quality has this built-in logic of like doing it correctly and uh, and here here I don't right so. I need to change this code uh, to make it kind of duplicate first, or right, like so. Basically, uh, item the quality is item quality plus one if item the quality is less than fifty, uh, and then here I do if item the quality is less than fifty because both are true here, right? Um, and I can worry about deduplicating this later, but I need to separate this logic and these this restriction exists in both places. So now that I have this, because this is an if else, there's no there's no else. This is just this if, right? So I can drop that and that, and then this becomes uh, increase quality. Or normal items, or this is increased quality once, really, because that's that's actually a trick. I'm gonna have to make an adjustments because um, because this has special logic specifically for for those things, right? Control Alt method um, increase quality for backstage passes. So like this, at least the code here is looking more readable, right? Um, now, uh, here the trick here is uh, <laughs> this is fucked up code, but it's fine. Uh, set quality to zero, um, and this is I'm just gonna. Change that code now. This is clearly just the way this. This is what this does. Yeah, I don't prefix methods name, uh, but that's like there's no. Whatever. I'll change this later. And then here we have. Because this is my God. Um, right. This is really saying if it's not Bree and not the backstage pass. You want to do that. So the way it's saying is like, if this is the backstage pass, like this is the logic for the Brie, right? So this is uh, increase quality for Brie. I'll just make this as very special, and then let's review those. Uh, no, I have to skip this one, and then I have to skip that one. Um, Which actually tells me I should undo this, and um, no, maybe it's just increase. Maybe it's just increase quality. Yeah, I'll just make it. It's just increase quality, right? Um, yeah, that's just that's just what it is. And then I can replace them and uh, replace and replace, and that's that's just how it works. That's what it does. Uh, and so now, now this is actually a shit ton more readable. I think we'll generally agree with that, right? I should probably run the test because hopefully it didn't break everything. The original one is still passes. All of this stuff still passes. This is good. I'm actually at this point without doing any other crap with this my new item, whatever, feeling marginally confident about this. Um, and uh, what's up, Bugcat? And so if we look at the example, um, wow, I didn't realize the chat was like in the bottom left. Well, it's marginally readable. Um, if I look at 
the golden master, I guess. I removed right. I removed that. Uh, this one, right? The thirty days and the STD out. Conjured mana cake. Oh, these are like okay. So these are items that begin with conjured, and their quality decreases twice as fast. So. Um, Decrease twice as fast. So I guess this is going to be... We'll put it down in this path for now, right? But the way we're going to do this is uh, probably an additional path around here. And we're going to say it... Um, no, this will be actually describe conjured items. And then uh, it... Decreasing its quality. Um, by two normally. And then it decreases in quality. By four. Aggro sell by date has passed. Oh, this is really... Well... Yeah. No. Um, two, four. How do I want to set this up? Um, because we have I have the degrading quality twice as fast, but that's actually two. So there's an assumption about the base. You know what? I'll just do that for a modding kata. No, no. This is this is just a coding exercise. Uh, I'm just uh, refreshing my skills, if you will. Block has too many lines. Are you kidding me? Eh, fucking bullshit. Uh, Alright, so we're going to take that bit of logic. Actually, I'll just do... I'll just take this. Put this here and put this here. And then I'm going to say this is a conjured mana cake. Uh, and I'm going to set them 5, and the quality is going to be 3. And when I update the quality, the quality is going to be 1. And then here, this is going to be a conjured mana cake. And uh, if the selling is negative one, and the quality is ten, I want to expect the quality to be six when this is all done. And this is going to fail because it's just not implemented, right? Makes perfect sense. Now. Um, I'm going to want to make some adjustments to this chunk of the code here, but that's going to be for the second test. So um, here I'm going to say uh, decrease quality for conjured items. And then item. And then I have to create this method. Uh, yeah, code kata is a coding exercise. It's the, the point basically is... Um, The idea of a kata is something you can practice over and over and then kind of learn new things or kind of make sure your skills are good uh, and uh, that like they're just not rusty and that you have them available at the tip of at your fingertips, right? So, yeah, let's create that method. I don't know where I created it. I created it above. Of course I did. Because why wouldn't I? Uh, why are you unhappy about all these things? Oh yeah, the method is too long. Well, I yeah, screw you. The method is too long. The method is just the right length. Thank you very much. Um, if item dot name conjured. It's always backwards here. I always get this one wrong. And I think this is the beginning. I'm gonna find that really fast. Um,
Can the quality ever be... No. Uh... This is going to be very much, very much the exact same code, but that's fine. I'm okay with it. That's kind of the point. Because um, this should make one of the tests pass. The Golden Master broke. Why did the Golden Master break? Uh, fuck, I think is the correct term here. The Golden Master is broken. Never mind, I'm good, I'm golden. Life is fantastic. I am stupid, but I'm smart. Put that in your pipe and smoke it. Uh, means mastery of. Uh, no, Project Euler, I don't know what Rosetta code is. Project, Project Euler is like algorithms implementation. Um, kata exists everywhere in in Japanese culture. Um, like the, it is a pretty inherent element of of the culture. So they're gonna have kata for everything. They have kata for the tea ceremony. They have kata for flower arrangement. They have kata for martial arts. They have kata for kabuki. They have kata for. They have basically everything has a form to follow, and. Uh, you can reach, if you care, an element of, of mastery in that particular form. There's a whole host of things from the spiritual to the very pragmatic about this. Um, but the, the concept is the same. Where, like you, you have to be good at ex executing the form, right? Because you have a kata for kabuki for the scene, does not mean that the kata is going to be followed well, right? So someone who can follow the kata well is someone who is pretty good at it. Um, yeah, it's something like that. Um, I I would say, if you're really curious about stuff like that, this is closer uh, to, to, to a code kata. Sol so, solving the same problem in different languages is not a, a kata, it's like an exercise in kind of stretching your wings a little bit, but it's not an exercise in getting good at something. And not, not exactly. It's an exercise in like kind of translating thoughts from one language to another, which is important, but um, but it's a little different. Okay, so now I need to make a change here. Uh, so I need to make sure. Right, so here I'm gonna try. I think I can say uh, if item dot name equals backstage passes, I can set the quality to zero. And then, uh, and then I think I can clear that else here, right? And then I'm down to if it's not aged brie, decrease the quality. So I can say instead, if item dot name is aged brie, increase quality for the item, right? And now I do have to... Oh man, I hate it. Um, I hate it so much. Yeah, it's fine. I'll just... And I have to do an else. And then the else is decrease quality for normal items. And uh, that's fine. That drops all these things. Uh, nope, I have dropped one too many closing brackets. This end has to stay, but these things go away. Wait, what? What are you doing? Oh, okay, good. All right, I was like, you can't give me, you can't give me money. What's, what are you, it's crazy, but no, I appreciate the donation. Thank you. That's that's very kind of you. Thank you for doing this. Uh, you will put these links in the programming channel on Discord for later. Cool. Um. So I have I have no idea. Ooh, that was loud. Um, I have no idea what that looks like on the other side. Oh, it just updated on my chat. Forty out of a hundred. Yay! I put a hundred because I figured I have you know five six viewers. It'll take a while to get there. But if this works, I'm happy to create a much longer one. I'll just you know get some funnel money over time. 
Um, so now I need to do increase quality for conjured items. Item. Now this is. Hmm. I can maybe make an adjustment in logic here again. Okay, the golden master is still broken, but now my items pass. So there is a specific difference. The conjured mana cake is wrong. It's very wrong. A lot of things are wrong about the conjured mana cake. How do you donate more than five dollars? It's a good question. Hey, Tor. Uh, Tor BG. Wait, Tor BG. Are you? Are you? Are you Fire Scourge? The other amount sections. Um, imagine if you had to play me for every hour of, of SSP synthesis. Oh, pay me. You probably mean pay me. Uh, I was confused. Like play me. I mean, I. That doesn't seem like a terrible result for anybody. Uh, but uh, yeah, but cat, I think this is. Uh, oh no! Well, it was mostly a joke on on you know tour from beginner go tour BG. But uh, I get it. <laughs> Blame me, daddy. Okay, that's okay. Um, so. This didn't behave the way I thought it was going to. Um, maybe I have to do this, just like straight up. Instead of nesting it. The Golden Master now doesn't work. That's a little bit annoying. Uh, that's like the actual super top level thing. And this, that was always broken. Um, oh, oh, oh. Because I'm I'm because because I'm wrong about this. How is um No one two and then decrease quality for conjured items and then decrease quality for normal items. This should be fine, I think. Unless this has a weird thing. No? No no no. Payment method unavailable. No, you're Norwegian. American of Norwegian descent. Really? Well, very fancy. Um, okay, this is actually not this. This is this is the exciting part of the code where I have made some changes that I was pretty sure weren't going to do anything, and it did something. Uh, now it's not. Completely the end of the world because it's a actually a tiny change, right? Like the, um, if you look, the difference really is. Uh, I expected the. Um, did I actually write this code, this test correctly? I expect the expected to equal the golden standard, which makes sense. So the top one, I exp no, okay, the top one is a golden standard. So the top one has uh, minus 27. But that's the cell in, isn't it? Yeah. 14, 21, 9, 50, 4, 50, 2, 5 versus 2, 4. And then 1... Four. Wait a second. Hold up. Hold up. Is is this right? That's not right. That's. Something's wrong here. We have to call Ribani Spill Meg Papa. I don't know. I only know is Tack and something and file. I'm very confused by this. Okay. Um, 
Let's take a quick look at this. We've got a conjured mana cake right here. Selling three, quality six. Now, if this is correct, the conjured mana cake should decrease in... Did I read this wrong? 251403... I think... Okay, I think this is just not written correctly. That's what the test is for, of course. Um, is it decreases in quality? No. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Because let me find an example. Here, elixir, the elixir of the mongoose, right? Um, it decreases by one here. And then when you hit zero, it decreases by here, and then it decreases by two. And this is the behavior that the contract mana cake has, but that is not... Oh, wait, hold on. Hold on. Hold on, this, out, this, this standard out is probably wrong. Um, oh man, okay. Uh, let's reopen the readme, I guess. Not the readme. Here, let's open this. Oh, that's not the right. The text tests readme. So, this one. Okay. Um... So let's see, what do we have here? Um, text test, install text text, and configure, blah, blah, blah. I don't care about any of this. This is just top level examples. Um, all of this is completely fine. Okay, fine, fine, fine. But then what? Um, okay, options. Options is 30, fine, cool, great. Uh, I got my configuration here, which doesn't make any difference to anything meaningful. Uh, the environment is things for Java and Perl, apparently. Don't care about any of this. The test suite it's called 30 days, fine. Uh, really? Okay, well, the text file is good. And then... I, okay, where did I read? Where did I read that the mana cake didn't, wasn't working correctly yet? Um, here. All right, well, look, at this point, I have to make the assumption that if, if this is correct, right? Like if, if this is right, um, If they degrade in quality twice as fast as normal items, it means that they decreased just the way I've written the test, right? Because when the sell by date has passed, it's going to decrease by two. Um, then it can't ever be zero. Can't ever be less than zero. Can't be above fifty. But the conjured items will decrease by two, normally instead of one, and by four after the sell by date has passed. Passed, which is the way again. It's this is what it does. So that means that just the fixture I have is is just wrong. It just got recorded from the way it works, but it's not the right output. So um, yeah, I guess at this point I just drop this golden master for being not so, for not being useful anymore because I've got the test up here without the conjured mana cake. Right, it tests. It takes a golden master. It's got all the right things. Um, yeah, I mean, then there's like there's this logic here, right? And this is mostly, I could leave it there and it would be okay. There's a bunch of things I want to make different here still. This is kind of the. 
Um, this is the part of the code I haven't really tweaked or, or looked at, right? I sort of feel like I should do um, um, well, actually, here. There's definitely, a thing, there's definitely a thing here I have to do, which is if um, if sell by date is passed, right? And then I guess what that means is I actually am going to be able to write a decorator that's going to take the item object and do all of that for the object around this and make these things nicer because I've got all these functions, all these methods that take the item and just modify it, right? So, so that I should be able to do pretty effectively. And yeah, I, I really wish the output had been correct, but of course, in retrospect, it makes sense. This just got written as this is the output, but it's not written correctly. So just kind of, they kind of warned me about it. I just didn't understand what that meant. Because um, this should be two four one two and zero zero, right? Uh, and. And then zero zero, and then like if I do that, if I do that, I think it's gonna pass. I'm wrong. I'm I'm bad. I'm bad at this. Clearly, um, day thirty conjured money cake. Oh my god, what's happening here? Is there just like zero? Is there just like not a day thirty? Is that what's happening? Am I just completely wrong about this? Uh, is there just not a day 30? Like that? Is that is that the problem the entire time? Ha <laughs> problem the two problems and I'm stupid about both of them. Okay, cool. It's fine. Got it. It just I need to include the 30th day and I clearly had to change these as well. Like if I change this back to 2 and 5, it's going to fail again. So now this is my the golden master sort of it's changed, it's updated for the correct logic. Now I'm going to commit this, which is kind of risky, but uh, possibly correct conjured item logic. Uh, commit all of them. Changing the golden master is not a thing I should do. It's, uh, it's not a thing I should do. I'm taking liberties here, and I really shouldn't. But let's, let's poke at this a tiny bit, right? Because I have this item for sale. Uh, I'm going to rename this the uh, item decorator, just for the sake of having a simple name here for a second. And the accessor is going to be the item, just plain, plain old item. And I have the item here. And then uh, an item is item. OK. Now I'm going to remove that, and I'm going to remove that method. And so for now, that's all I've got. It's just this, this decorator, which is, which is just wrapping the item object, right? So now, here's, uh, here's the way I'm thinking about it, right? First, uh, all of this goes away. This code was very fancy, but it, it might come back into play, but for now it goes away. Um, I'm going to say, uh, decor my item equals item decorator.new item. And then, um, all right, this is where things get tricky, trippy, whatever, trippy, whatever. If I do uh, my item dot quality cannot increase, right? Like to cut to mirror this line of code, then um, quality cannot increase is this thing, right? 
So that means this line of code goes over here. Right? And this is kind of interesting because, well, it's got this kind of uh, restriction on what the item name is. That's not how you write code, apparently, or how you use a keyboard, anyway. Uh, and so, of course, in order for that to work, I'm going to begin by copying these things over here because, fine, right? Um, But I don't like it because I've got this magic over here. But that is at least the magic is stepping away from, from this gilded rose, which should not have all this knowledge, because its job is just to move the quality around, I guess. Uh, hey, there you are. Hello. I actually I progress a little faster than I expected. Uh, but oh, actually, never mind. It is it is nine. It's about two hours. It's a little bit faster than I thought I would I would go, but it's not too bad. Um, Oh, nice. Very nice. I didn't realize Paige uh, was nearby. Ad broke the stream. Uh, Bats, are you still in chat? <laughs> How's it going? I'm doing all right. Thank you. Um, I feel like I should show you what this code looked like before. Because you sort of missed... I moved forward a little faster than I thought I was going to. Uh, and there's a bunch of... Val Actually, that's one of the things about the stream. I guess there's a there's a, there's a a VOD. There's a video. So you could actually kind of re-watch this. And, and see how I talk through this. How I think through this. Um, but... Um, anyway, let me show you. Which you probably won't. Yeah, it's fine. Where? Hang on, I'm gonna. It's gonna get bright in here for a second. Okay. So this is what the code used to look like. Uh, the guilt. It, it used to look like this. A bunch of if statements. And if else is yes, spaghetti code. His V can film V do. All right, I have no idea what you wrote. I actually don't. I have a hard time with Nor Norwegian. I haven't spent any time trying to make sense of the basic structure of the language. But um, he's French, bro. <laughs> anyway, bats. I was gonna say like, so I'm probably gonna dis disconnect and end the stream in twenty-ish minutes. I think. Uh, maybe 30 minutes at the outside. So if you want to watch an episode or two of, of Cowboy Bebop, we can probably do that. That is absolutely an option. But let, let me make some progress here because there's more room for an improvement here that I want to play with. So... Um, the, the thing I want to move away from is that here we have the, the string-based manipulation is defining separate behavior, right? So, um, oh, you asked? <laughs> what would I like to watch? Um, well, what what on earth were the options? Um, uh, actually, you know what? The, the storm of the century thing is like an hour and a half, I think, for each episode. Or there's Taskmaster. Uh, if uh, yeah, if if Jeremiah is gonna be uh, if if is gonna be in, in in chat, like he's gonna be in the move in in the movie night, we can do an episode of Taskmaster. Okay, so. Here, this is kind of interesting because it, we we do have this decrease, but the decrease or the increase, they're both bounded, right? Like we do have this logic here about how much they can increase. So I let's let's do let's do this for the item decorator. 
Um, I I really want to refactor this kind of directly, but I, I the whole point is not skipping a step. Um, you can just define them by if return. Um, you you can in so in JavaScript you can in a bunch of languages you can in in Ruby um, if true five uh, is going to return five if it's true and it's going to return nil if it's not true. So uh, because you, because Ruby has implicit return statements. So the way you can test this easily if we go to the um, to the, the console here. Um, ah, it's no problem. It's I mean, you're, what you say is not wrong. It's uh, it's a little bit different in the way you think. In the way you think about the language, but it's fine. So, like, let's say here, if so, if true, five. That's not okay. Ah, oh, come on, this is gonna break. You're kidding. Thank you for being helpful. So, if true, five and right. And now, if false, five. This returns nil because Ruby has an implicit return. So there's a lot of things that you can take advantage of that way, but they don't necessarily lead to more readable code. And one of the things I'm trying to do here is end with somewhat readable code. So um, here, what I really want to do is my item dot um, Pass another day, something like that. That's really what I, that's really what I want to do. And so instead of doing this, which is kind of copying the code over here and and having to deal with this, right? I would like to start maybe with def uh, pass another day, and then all of this would go in there, which is kind of. Uh, kind of a big deal, but might actually be fine. Might actually be fine. So if I move all of this, if I move all of that bullshit over here, right, then um, why are you unhappy here? Oh yeah, the assignment branch, yeah, that's too high. I know, I know, I'm aware. We're, we're going to work on that. Yeah, hold, hold on to your hats. Um, all this stuff is private because that's fine. And oh, that's not quite right. I wanted to rerun Alt Shift F10 yielded rows. Everything still passes, which is pretty impressive. Uh, given given all the bullshit, but I am actually changing the item directly. So, and that's the important bit, right? Like um. I'm basically wrapping everything in here. Now, now let's start to let's get crazy. Let's get, uh, let's get, let's get wild. Because now I'm free. I'm free of all of this, right? Like now the gilded rose is, is just that. And I could have started with something like this, but it would have been a pain in the ass. So now that I'm here, I want to make a separate path, right? So what I want to do is. Um, I actually want to call it per uh, per special case. So that's my is queued up. Nice. So I'm going to do case item dot name, and then we're going to say uh, when backstage passes, when aged brie, when sulfurous, and then when conjured item and here I needed to try something in the terminal because I'm not completely sure how this is going to work. So let's say case hello. Can I do when uh, hello this way and do who and then when 
by bar. Can I do that? Is that gonna work? Holy shit, it works. Holy, holy, oh my god, this language. This is why, this is why I love this language. This is just, this is just so good. Like, how do you, how do you compare to the elegance that is about to erupt from the beauty that is the language that is Ruby? Oh, God. This, okay, this kind of emotional outburst is what Ruby does to me. This is, this is why I love this language. Okay, so I need to write some logic now. But um, here I need to make some adjustments because I'm going to have some, some tricky... Trixy, Trixy things, right? Now, the decrease quality and decrease, increase quality, these are like normal quality decreases, but increased quality for backstage passes is operating... Um, tw is operating once. Okay, now I need to check on the logic just to make sure that I've got the right things because, right, and then there's um, else because, right? And this is going to be a uh, decreased quality for normal items because <laughs> uh, it's going to be that. Now, um, what I'm trying to do here is determine the logic. And I know that they have to, the logic, it has to decrease by one. Definitely. Unless until unless it's zero, whatever, right? Um, and it may decrease by two or more. So I, th but I think, uh, I think I can adjust the order of the logic and still get the right calculation out. So I think I can say. Uh, uh, decrease son of a bitch can I because of because of the stupid legendary item can I do that I think I have to make an adjustment so I think for for this just nail uh, this is what happens right and then here I get to decrease the sale date for normal items and then get to decrease quality for conjured items. And I forget what this logic is like. Uh, but this is now decrease once. So um, I get to make an adjustment here because this has to happen twice. And then, nope, sorry, not here. Um, and then there's that. Okay, we'll make it. We'll make it ugly first, right? We'll make it ugly first, uh, because here is like if item dot sell in dot negative. I do that again, and a lot of the code is going to disappear because now I'm going to wrap this logic. And separate it in in meaningful bits, um, and so like decrease quality for controlled items will become just will become a decrease by two because I'm no longer actually I'll do that right now. Nope, I'm not going to do it right now. I'm going to find the right order of operations here. I'm definitely moving a little too fast. Definitely moving a little too fast. Uh, I'm this is. When I do this exercise again, I'll have to remember. This is the part where like, I'll have to work to, to be more methodical. But um, the point of the logic, because I have all of this here, right? Like this is this is the original logic. So when the back the backstage pass is. Um, Well, here it's actually important to decrease the sell date first. Because when you decrease the sell date, you know what you have to do. End of story. Um, and then you have... Here you have if 
sell by date is passed item set quality to zero item and then else it becomes uh, I have the logic somewhere here increase quality for backstage passes item right now I think I have to do it this way uh, oh man this is this is a little too much uh, I need to copy can I can I copy the open in opposite group perfect all right um, I don't know how much I've lost you if you've disconnected Tangje this is unfortunately uh, it has been it has been two hours mostly without a break and my brain has lost a bit of the discipline that is required to make this very meaningful uh, what I should do is stop but I want but I want to continue a tiny bit more it's also a sign that I should stop if I'm like I should stop then I should it's a rule of code it's very easy to just make things worse uh, Alright, so I'm going to move this over here to this bit of logic here. This is the part that I care about. Right here, and I'm going to keep that around for these things. So, for the backstage passes, uh, I have to increase the quality for normal items, increase the quality for backstage passes, And then you decrease the sell date. Uh, and if the sell date by zero set quality there, also, and then that's it. So this is the correct logic for the backstage passes. Now the logic for the BRI is uh, increase quality for normal items. And decrease sell by date for normal items and an increase quality item oh that's interesting I have two bits of logic here that are probably almost exactly the same I bet increase quality for normal items is is the same thing yeah okay good to know well that'll be uh, I'm going to fix that right now by making this like that. And next up, I have so for us Hand of Ragnaros, and that does nothing because uh, the quality just doesn't move, right? Like decrease sell by date, you don't decrease it. Decrease quality, you don't decrease it. That is how that works. Very simple. Conjured items, if you look at the logic for that here, uh, you decrease quality for normal items and conjured items. Which I can do twice for conjured items because that's fine. It's the same thing. I happen to know this. I'm cheating a little bit. But then... Um, oh, this is... This is, how, this is the logic I wrote for this. And then we have decrease blah blah blah. And then if the sell by date is passed, decrease quality for contract items and decrease quality for normal items. Okay. And I think I think now if I comment this out and run the tests, I think the tests are gonna pass. That's not how you check that. It's an exciting day. I broke everything. What broke? The age bre broke. Increases in quality by one as cell date approaches. Really? That's broken? Oh, this probably is not right. Uh, because it probably... I have to do this only if the cell date is passed. Right? Yeah. Yep. <sighs> If sell by date is passed, item. Okay. And then degrades quality twice as fast when sell by date has passed. 
That's because I forgot that one too here. If somebody just passed item. Okay, so this is this is the core of the logic. Nope, apparently not. Apparently it's still fucking broken. Um this is not the right logic, I think. Oh no, the selling is minus one here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, because I'm supposed to decrease the sell by date everywhere. I'm um I'm bad at code is what it is. Okay, there we go. So now I've got uh I I have a point where I can commit again. Everything passes. I'm gonna commit now again. Uh, creates decorator. And now I am honestly kind of almost done here. Um. I want to move these things around because um, I want to move this around because this is this is core business logic, and uh, but I'm wondering if there's things I can do to make life slightly better. So, for instance, can I? No, I can't because if I move this because of this rule, right? Um, because of this rule, I can't do anything. So the only thing I might be able to do is bring this out as a special case and just go, look, nothing changes here. Uh, and then if that's the case, then I can do decrease sell by date and bring that out, right? But before, actually, before I go there, before I even go there, um... Let's, uh, I think I can delete that because I think it's not being used. I am wrong about it not being used. I'm very wrong about it being used. Uh, what I meant is increased quality is not being used. I am also wrong about that. This is why you have tests. Um, okay, cool. Now this is also going to be a tiny bit shorter just for the sake of, just for the sake of, you know, making the code kind of more manageable. Um, this can become, this can go away because now the logic, like, is where it needs to be. Uh, so I can now just have this code look the way it should, just like this. And actually this becomes minus equal one. And that's the end of that. Um, now the... Decrease quality for normal items. This becomes... Um, Yeah, it just becomes item.quality minus equals one if item.quality. Huh, this can't. This can't bring the quality down to zero? That's weird. Oh, no, no, sorry. This is just. Um, it, it has to. If it's above zero, it can go to zero. If it's not zero, you can't do anything. So this can this can be like this. And then um, this is now the same thing, right? Because now the logic for controlled items is somewhere else. So what this means really fundamentally, which is kind of nice, is this supposed to be a grocery list? Um, You know what? I actually forgot to explain everything to you. Uh, that's I'm terrible about this. I thought you were going to... But that's what gilded means. Covered or tinged with a gold or golden color. So the um, the exercise is, is based on this. Essentially, you're a small inn with a prime location in a prominent city run by a friendly innkeeper named Allison. We also buy and sell only the finest goods. Um... 
so basically this is inventory management slash keeping track of what you have to sell and it is um, and it's got all of these rules for how things work and as you, you saw how the code looked at the beginning and so the exercise is how do you change the code without breaking it how do you know you're changing the code without breaking it how do you have confidence all the way through that you're making the code better without breaking the logic um it i mean it is i think it's fun it is it's a thing that's kind of that i think is kind of enjoyable to do it's been a while since i really did it um you wouldn't have any confidence well that's <laughs> don't worry you uh you you build the confidence over time right because um and you build the confidence over time with the tests because when I began, uh, when I began, there was just this test here, which actually, like, I'm gonna uh, remove because it's useless now. But I added all the other tests, and all these other tests give me all the confidence I needed to really make sure that um, that whatever I was doing kept the behavior the safe, the same, the same. <laughs> oh, I broke it a couple times. That's what the tests are for, right? I broke it just now. You were, I was like, it works. No, it doesn't. It works. No, it doesn't. It works. No, it really doesn't. So, uh, open the opposite group. Okay, so now let's make some, a couple of adjustments here. Uh, increase quality for normal items. Uh, increase quality for backstage passes. This one I can actually remove... A little bit and just say if item quality is less than 50 because I don't need the, the special thing here um, if quality cannot increase I think is just literally not being used anywhere now yep so I can delete that entirely it's nice glided it's not glided it was gilded the gilded rose um, so now I can actually rename this one decrease quality because that's that's what this does. It decreases the quality, right? And uh, that's nice. And one thing that's convenient is now uh, decrease quality for conjured items. I can just uh, make it decrease quality. And then I can delete this method entirely because I don't need it, right? This, this method is uh, is useless. I've got a method that does it. Yeah, all right, fine. I'll, I'll follow Robocop and do this uh, and make it a little nicer. Now, increase quality for normal items. I'm going to do the same thing as well. Um, I don't need something fancier than that. I can just make it uh, increase quality. Now, increase quality for backstage passes. That actually does need to be special. Uh, but decrease sell by date for normal items just becomes decrease sell by date. Oops. I actually do think I probably I probably do want to keep these as increased quality and decreased quality for normal items because clearly backstage passes behave differently. Um, And this is zero um, uh, if I quality. JavaScript streams, nice. Yeah, this is good. Method name is too long. No, it isn't. No, no, it isn't. We are going to disable this inspection. Long names are good. Okay, here is going to be... Yeah, you know what? Uh, return if item.quality rather than or equal to 50, and then I can extract. I can remove that. Uh, and then this is an interesting double thing. Um... Hello, Salara. What's up? And here's an interesting setup where it's kind of moving it twice incrementally, and I don't like it. 
Um, do I know where my croissant is? I don't know. Uh, and so I want to do... I don't want it to be to work that way. Uh, I want them to be separate clauses entirely. And so um, I'm going to do if item that sell in is less than 11, increase quality of the item. But I'm going to say else if uh, item that sell in is less than 6, then I'm going to do it twice here. And it's not great, but I like it better because it's a lot cleaner about from a refactoring perspective, like moving these things out. Uh, and then, if necessary, I can say, let's, you know, uh, I can pass an argument and decrease it by that much. Uh, cat training, nice, nice. Do I get paid in baguettes? Yeah, I wish. Uh, actually, the thing I knew, the thing I just said, not a bad idea. Uh, not a terrible idea. Also, increased quality for backstage passes, clearly. Um, is actually going to be well I think I can duplicate that and triplicate that and remove that because I think that's actually the logic so I think if I run this it should still pass nope broke everything uh, yep so I broke the backstage passes which makes sense increase quality by one when there's 11 days left. Okay, well, that's clearly... Ah! That was, that's my problem. Um, there. That's, that's how that works. Uh, apparently, I broke all the tests. Why did I break all the tests? Oh, because I can't write code. Uh, there you go. Nope, can't write code. Increase quality by three when there are zero to five days left. I thought that's what I was doing right here. Uh, thank you for the hydration warning. Reminder. Uh, no, chocolatine, I'm pretty sure... I don't know. I, th I think you've. I think you've looked, and it might actually be like a place where French people sell chocolatine, but that seems so weird. Okay, so um, I broke that code path. When there's between one and five days, the quality increases by three, which is looks like it's what I'm doing right here. I I'm just saying. So can you tell me what it is? Oh, uh, hang on. Um, that's probably what's happening, I think, maybe. Nope. Increase quality by three, decrease sell by date. And then if the sell by date is passed, zero if I it. I broke it. I broke it. Okay, uh, the quality should increase by three. This seems to be the right thing. Which is fascinating, right? Like the, the code path now can't go that many ways because I'm literally making a new decorator and then just calling that function pass another day. And that function says, if this is a backstage pass, right, I want to do this. Increase quality for backstage passes, decrease the sell by date, and then if the sell by date is passed, I'm sorry, this is now a zero quality item. Uh, it's got zero value. And uh, did I change this and make it something incorrect? No, less than zero is the same thing. Uh, zero if I quality, set the quality to zero. Yeah. Here move increase quality item out of the conditional i mean fine fine this was the original thing uh holy mother of god that is ugly 
Okay, well, I don't know what you were trying to do, but that's that's not right. I'm okay with moving one of them out, or this way. And then moving that out, and then not having this else. Like, you always increase the quality by one. Um... I don't even need this because now I have this over here, right? So like this is kind of, uh, this is superfluous, completely superfluous. Of course, the code doesn't work, so there's there's that. Clearly, I don't. I'm confused. I'm very confused. Um, if it's less than eleven. Oh, wait, hold on. Expected 13, got 12. So I am increasing it one to few times. One, two, three. The fuck do you want from me? Um... Um, you, so, I mean, don't worry about the, the variations. If you, um, if you're not a strong enough player to confidently, so, all right, hang on a second. Uh, you could, you could mean two things. If you mean adding variations to the SGF, I can help you with that. If you aren't sure how to do that with your clients. If you mean adding analysis beyond like just kind of adding the kind of the catago text and then removing the analysis the kind of the sgf saved stuff uh if it's just adding the variations then yeah like i can help you with that but um if you're talking about the analysis let's don't worry about it i'll, I'll do that uh, just because it's going to be a pain in the ass to do it uh uh to do it together uh it's like it, it's hard enough for me to do it by myself if I have to like talk to someone else about it, it's gonna get so much worse for me. Um, uh, but yeah, I can I can help you. Uh, I can help you add variations. The thing I would recommend is probably leave the client open tonight, and then we can look at it tomorrow. Increase quality for backstage passes. I'm so confused by this. Like, it's literally just a thing that's broken, but I don't understand how it's broken. It's a tiny code path. It's a tiny, tiny, tiny code path, and I don't understand why, um, why it has any reason to break. Oh, that's actually fun. Um... Contrary to decrease, decrease, and decrease if sell by date. That's the normal thing. This is the normal thing. All of this works except for this. Um. <laughs> May, maybe rerun it tomorrow, yeah. Because the um, basically, if you save and close, then we're, then we're, we're going to lose all the kind of work that Katago has done to cache all the variations, and then if we want to add meaningful variations, we have to redo the work of having it analyze the board position to come up with good ones. So, but if which which client are you using? Local catering. Okay, well that's I mean that's easy. Um, the um, this is actually gonna break horribly because I forgot to start the the server. Yeah, it broke. Um, I'll start that. I can show you right now how it works. It's really it's really really simple. So um, why does this not work? I need to increase the quality. 
if it's not if it's less than 50 uh, the increase in quality as a set on value approaches by two when they're still as left by three when it's five as lost but to the draft of the concert yeah this makes perfect sense um this is it will increase if there's plenty, it will increase by 2 over here. Oh, am I wrong? No. No, 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 no. I'm not wrong. This used to be if that, and then if that, which give it two chances to increase. That's my problem. That's my problem. I'm I'm dumb. That's that's my that's my issue. That's my fundamental problem. I can't write code. Um, you have to do the most restricting things first. Um, no, it, it's fine. It's this is this is mostly over. This is mostly finished. Um, this is looking. Pretty good. Uh, the one next thing I want to do... How are we doing on this thing starting? It's there. Okay, now let's start that. Let's give that a second to start. And connect to, to Katago and stuff. So now the next thing I want to do here is actually uh, decrease quality and pass something. Like pass an optional argument. So increase quality um, amount equals 1. And then this is going to be amount and then decrease quality item amount equals one and this is amount and here now here the trick is i have to do something a little different i have to do item not quality equals um item dot quality plus amount 50 and i have to take the minimum value of these two so that I can just do the work all the time. And then here I have to do the same thing and say uh, item.quality equals uh, item.quality minus amount zero and take the max. Or just take the maximum value of these two and that's just how that's going to work. And what that allows me to do, besides the fact that right now if I rerun nothing broke, is when I'm doing something like this I can decrease it by two and here I can decrease it by two and that's just nicer I think uh, so now now that I've got that uh, commit uh, uh, almost I don't know um, I'm a terrible commit message don't don't take my commit messages as examples. Um, so if you're here, right, Salara, and you've got that going, let's say you've got uh, I don't know one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, Kevin Yang. Uh, all right. Let's say we got this. Looks like it's analyzing a bunch of stuff here. Um, it has to catch up on the play. But if you go to the analysis section, and it's going to be done analyzing when it moves down to 10, the computer's warming up on the other side. Uh, I will come back to this in a minute. I also get to do here increase quality uh, 2. Actually, no. Here I get to say three, because I get to drop that and drop that. And here I get to say two. And so now actually I get to do the else if and increase quality item one. Now, uh, it's, sorry, else. Uh, and this is, this is kind of the cleanest implementation of logic, the clearest implementation of logic here that will say, this is what this needs to be, this is how this works, this is how these things are connected. Um, now, uh, yeah. 
It's not quite done yet, my god. <sighs> Alright, so let's say let's say we're looking at these moves. We saw that there's a mistake over here, right? It's almost done analyzing it. Uh, but it's got something. Did you see Salar where we are? This is Catray, right? That's how it works. So now let's say we're here, and you want to say, what if there's a better move for, for white than this two-point mistake over here, right? So if you hover over something, and just like keep your mouse of it, it Catrain will show you variations, right? Now, uh, make sure you're in the analysis section in the top right, but that should be fine. Uh, you pick something, uh, you would normally pick an, uh, a 0 plus 1, or a 0 plus 2, or a 1, or whatever. Here you've got this circle, but there's a plus zero one here, it says a little better. So you see that it's highlighting some, it's uh, showing a variation. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a middle click. You can't really see this because the mouse is down there. Uh, but if I do a middle click, you may have noticed that over here on this side, it, ha it has added something. So now, uh, yeah, the wheel button. And so now I have a variation added which is what Katego suggests, right? And like that's that's it. That is that, that's how you do that, right? And so for the for the rest of it, you have the part where it says uh, teaching analysis. Yeah. So like here, three point mistakes or more. Uh, you could make it so that you have three at the top or whatever. Um, and then you can check saving SGF, whatever you want. Right? And that's it. That's how... That's it. That's how you do it. You are very welcome. Okay. Um, well, this is this is weird because I'm not used to doing this. I, sh I should feel like I should still see if there's someone playing Go that I can stream. Oh, Admiral Stapler! Yeah, we're gonna raid Admiral Stapler. Uh, apparently, he's some kind of like Minecraft streamer or something. Uh, I don't know what he does, but like he's kind of he feels like he feels like a cool guy who's like getting back into the game of Go. Uh, but yeah, anyway, I'm going to uh, disconnect out of this and then go into my Discord server and apparently watch something with uh, a couple of people. Um, which I think will be Taskmaster. All right. Uh, thank you again to uh, Batosai the 14th for the donations to the United Nations Foundation charity. Much appreciated. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this, uh, you know, kind of unexpected coding stream because I just got bored and decided to try and do that for once and uh, yeah I will see you all later I mean I have to do uh, some stuff on the Shuseku study project beyond waiting for Saturday because I have to redo the video from last Sunday because no sound showed up because I missed configured OBS and then I have to do my own analysis on on the games in progress so uh, 15th I'm terribly sorry so I will I will see you all later. Have a wonderful rest of your evening, everyone. Take care.